Hello, my name's Stephen Carn. I'd like to welcome you to another SketchUp cooking class. Uh, in this class, I would like to just discuss doing accessories. Um, accessories are a very, very important thing. We can personalize a lot of information by using accessories. So I'm going to start off by, I've just created a few profiles, shapes that we can work with. Um, can even just, you know, do a couple of more if we feel we are inclined to work with some other new shapes. So um, this is a circle, this is a rectangle, I've got a polygon. So we can pretty well use any shape we want. We can create it freehand or whatever. But this is, again, just to give you an idea. We have a few pictures here. So what I've done is I've brought in some images, file, import, and I've just gone into my artwork library, and I've just brought in a few images from here. So I've already brought them in here so I can show you how I can work with them. So we'll just start by looking at the first piece of art. Again, I just used a rectangle, created this picture frame that I can use. Generally, we like to use a follow me tool, but like this is um, an image, so I really can't do that because it's, uh, in order to use that as a f path, I need to explode it. So I'm a little bit reluctant to do that right now. So I'm just going to do another rectangle over top of it. And I will select that rectangle, click on follow me, and click on here. So that's good. So I should be able to click this again. And now I should be able to delete this. And my picture is there. Now, the reason why I did that is that I'm going to just create a material for this. So I'm just going to go in to say, uh, you can use anything you like. I'm just going to click on wood and try to find a wood material that I think would be good, uh, a good material. Now you'll notice that we have some interesting materials like this wood, for instance, kind of makes it look like it's been already, um, has a, you know, a curve to it. So this kind of makes for an interesting image. We could edit that color, make it into more of um, a brown color. So I think what I'll do though is, yeah, um, try and just try to make it a little bit more wood grainy. So that's fine. So that's going to be a little bit of a hard color to find, but we'll find something here or maybe we can go back and find a wood that would be close for the rest of this. Not sure how close this will be. It just gives us an interesting surface to work with. And of course, probably would have been easier to have done the whole thing first and then put the surfaces on, but I think you have the idea of what we're looking at here. So now what I want to do is I'm going to explode the picture and I'm going to give it a thickness. I want to give it a thickness of, say, 0.1. And then that will that will mean so that when I put it on a surface, if there's another surface underneath it, you won't see that surface through. So this really helps us a lot. If we don't do that, we'll see through it. So I'll just basically select that, right-click, make this into a component. So for these components, I would like us to use first three letters of our last name. And in this case, picture one. Okay, so I'm just going to go on to the next one. Same process. I can uh, create a surface, select the surface, follow me. Select the surface, delete it, go over to the next one, 
should be the same really so I should be able to just copy this one two three right click uh, make group then just do a move copy to here so now these I could add my uh, color material or wood or whatever I like um, So I'm just going to look for maybe a gray color we can use. Select this, explode. Again, pull it up, say 0.1. Do the same with this one, right click, explode, pull it up. Point one, and now all I have to do is um, select this and make that into a group. If I want to make a, a, a ball or a crystal ball of some sort, this is actually kind of cool. I've created a half circle here with a circle. This has to be, first I make the half circle, then I make the circle here, and then I again select this. And this gives me this uh, this ball. So again, I can look at my materials. Just put this as a translucent, and you can see that you can see through it. So that's kind of cool. I have uh, this shape here, and I'm just going to. Do a select, move, copy, and I'll just move that from here to here. So now I can, uh, in this case here, if I want to, same thing, select this, select my path, and I've created a nice little bowl. Again, select it, and I can uh, add a color to it. And if I've got some edges I'm not happy with, I just triple click on it, right click, and then soften, and cold planear, and just bring this up until I've got my edges basically smoothed off. So same shape, only in a different path. So you can see that you've got a, another shape. Here I've got, um, I want to create a lamp shape. So I'm going to, uh, again, select my shape, select my path, and this gives me that shape there. So I can uh, do the same thing again if I have a six-sided polygon I'm holding my shift down so I can keep this this shape. Click on this. Uh, select my path. Select my shape. And now if I want to, I can just delete the top. The bottom's deleted. Um, for this one here, I probably would like to work with a circle. So same thing, hold down my shift. So I can select my path and my follow me. Select my path, follow me. And now I just have to erase this part of it. So this part here, I can just move this.